and we check here. Besides the FICO scores, we also check the regular scores and we go through each credit report to see if they really need to let them know in advance, hey, these things need to be taken care of. We can either help you with this and there's some things you need to do. Whenever you get credit work done, there's things you do and there's things we do. It's not a one size fits all. You are responsible for your own credit. As you notice here, where it says additional FICO scores, we see credit cards, what we talked about earlier, we see auto loans, and we see mortgages. On here, you'll see the different FICO scores, the FICO 3 score, auto loan, FICO 2, FICO 8 score. you notice they're all different, they're for different purposes. You guys can research it on your own with what those FICO scores mean, but they're there for you to know. Auto loan scores have different scores for auto loan and mortgage score. So an auto loan score is showing very low compared to her other traditional scores, and why do you think it is? The car reporting late. It don't matter if you got other good credit history. If you have a recent repo, your score is getting 700, but you had a repo, you can still be denied a loan. If you are trying to apply for a mortgage, you can have a 700 and still be denied a loan if you were late on your previous mortgage within the last 12 months. I know someone who has a mortgage and they wanted to buy another home, but they had a late on the other mortgage and they were denied. And the score was in the high six, 700s because of their late. You have to wait. They don't want two years of negative history when it comes down to buy a home that you already have one too. I've seen cases where someone had a repo and still was able to buy a home because of the other good history. But if the repo was like three years old, it wasn't something that happened this year or last year, people contact us, just got a repo two months ago thinking they want to buy a house. Like, some things are just basic now. Like, if you loan somebody $50 and they didn't pay you back, and it's been 90 days, they came back 90 days and said, can I go ahead and get another 50? I'll pay you back next year. What are you gonna do? I ain't gonna give you no money, you didn't pay me back the other $50. How about $500? You loan them $500 and come back and ask you, can I borrow $500 and they, been, they never paid you back? Never followed up on it, didn't tell you why? And they ain't even agreed to take care of the past due amount. Why would you loan somebody another loan? Common sense. Get it together first before trying to apply.